Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte, bringing you a banger. Don't forget to follow on my Twitch, please. This is where we have daily content. So, with the new Payday 3 dev update video that came out, which is the boys in blue, I'm going to be checking this out and telling you guys my opinions on it. Um... From what I understand, this is probably just going to be covering, like, you know, what's in the DLC, I imagine. So let's go ahead and get into it. Pretty loud, but that's alright. Damn! Hey boys. I'm here to put some weight on. <laughs> are back in town. Damn. While you and the community have been entertaining yourself with quality... Oh. Is that... Memes? I'd like to, I'd like to see that real quick. The boys are back in town. While you and the community have been entertaining yourself with quality... Where is offline? On the table. Memes? We've been getting the boys mm. ready. Really? The heist takes place in a police station. In okay. stealth, you'll be... Ah, in stealth. Okay, well, I guess it's gonna be stealth only. It's unfortunate. busy police station, trying to make your way into the... Do chains have a dress on? Oh, and you know what I just noticed? Um... Clover is here. It's a nice little uh, teaser. They've got Clover right there, Clover right here. So she's going to be added in on this new DLC. Hopefully she's not locked behind DLC. The vault without getting spotted. While going loud, you throw caution to the wind. By Interesting. Oh, there's a uh, MP5 I just seen. That might be a new gun. Heavy equipment outside the station. Nice. The cops won't stay silent while you make your best impression of a demolition crew and will spend all they have to prevent you from emptying their vault. Does that mean there's going to be a new enemy? They're going to be sending all they have, heavy enemies, blah, blah, blah. Why is everything kind of being weird and blurry? Then we have the Taylor pack. We're getting a ton. <laughs> Why did the music get crazy like that? Of cosmetic options made around both sides of the law. Okay. So from what I'm seeing here, not anything that I'd be interested in necessarily. You got like a prison jumpsuit right there in the middle. You got like a guard's outfit on the right. Here on the left, you got like a, I don't know, a black jacket outfit. I'm not really sure what that'd be. And then on the far left here, you've got like a, I don't know, maybe a guy who's armored up but also has like a prison jumpsuit on. Not really sure why they'd have prison jumpsuits on though. I mean, all in all, nice to see new stuff, but not not too big of a fan of that. Meanwhile, the mask tried to turn the clown team up to 11 and show all enemies why chorophobia is the right choice when you're in law enforcement. So now they're making the masks turn up to 11, I guess is what he just said. Um, I mean, to me, those masks aren't too brilliant. You've got a dog, you've got like something, you've got a clown with glowing eyes, and then you've got another clown with a green eye. You know, it's so stuff you'd already see in Payday 2, essentially, but they're just drip feeding it to us, I guess. All enemies why chorophobia is the right choice when you're in law enforcement. Interesting. In the weapon pack, we got three powerful options. Each one a classic police station find. Why is there an LMG beside him if he's not going to be including an LMG? They all come with several unique attachments. That's it? So we get one new pistol, so confirmed only pistol sidearm still. We get an MP5 and, I don't know, maybe an FAL is what that looks like. Can't really tell. So hopefully you guys are ready for another revolver. Oh, and a charm and a sticker, of course. Just in time for boys in blue. And a charm and a sticker. Interesting. We'll have finalized the new DLC pricing strategy. Okay. I won't say too much here, but the pricing blog is out already, so we'll put a link to that in the description. To summarize... We're adding content for anyone who bought Syntax Error, Silver, or Gold as compensation and lowering the price of the upcoming DLCs. I have to hear that again. To summarize, we're adding content for anyone who bought Syntax Error. So they're adding content for anyone who bought the new DLC, Gold, and Silver versions of the game, right? So he's not going to say too much, obviously, but I wonder what that'll be. Like, just probably an in-game mask. Probably just a special item, I'd imagine. Silver or gold as compensation and lowering the price of the upcoming DLCs. 
Now that's most notable there. The old DLCs were way too expensive. The first DLC actually was way too expensive. We hope you'll be happy with the new price. We know okay. money is tight all around and we'll do our best to respect that. Okay. As they say, dollar dollar bill. Y'all. It's a pretty cringe edit in my opinion. You've probably noticed we've had recurring issues hmm. with everything from matchmaking to online reliab reliability. Fuck. You've probably noticed. Fuck. <laughs> okay, now let's let's break that down real quick. If they only have like 400 players on the game or 500 players on the game and they're having matchmaking and online issues, how? We've had recurring issues with everything from matchmaking to online re reliability. Online reliability. Online reliability. So they added bloopers. <laughs> with everything from matchmaking to online reliability. Interesting. Time. Well, we're in the final stages of setting up a new matchmaking service. Testing yeah. began at the start of the month, and many of you might have already matchmade using the new service without even noticing. Since these changes are outside of the game, we won't speak on it often, but they affect okay. us nonetheless. Okay. This is a work in progress. We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there as we hope to have this transition done before the end of the year. So, once again, it still falls on the people they brought and flew out to the headquarters or whatever to, to play test their game, right? They had a bunch of YouTubers and, and, you know, partners fly out, right? And everyone just apparently told them their game was good. There wasn't anything about, you know, infrastructures, I guess. I, I don't know. I imagine if they flew out as many people as they did, they probably flew like a hundred or so. So maybe the servers were fine. I, I don't know. I just it's it's it, it just it's weird to see some of this stuff be said because it's like it all could have been prevented if your actual partners did what they were supposed to and told you what was wrong with the game so that it could get fixed. We want to let you know about it since it'll affect your game experience. Right. Hopefully this will improve things for the better. So make sure you let us know about any issues. Perfect. To add to these technical feats of wonder, we've added mm. DLSS frame generation, making Payday 3 DLSS 3 ready. I don't know For those who aren't aware, DLSS is a revolutionary breakthrough in AI graphics that multiplies performance on GeForce RTX GPUs, and even more so for those lucky enough to have the GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs. What? For GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs, DLSS 3 includes frame generation, which boosts performance by using AI to generate additional frames while maintaining great responsiveness with NVIDIA Reflex, <laughs> giving you smoother and more pleasant gaming experiences. DLSS 3 looks incredible. Okay. So basically what they're saying here, while trying to make it funny, is that they've added new options to the game, I believe, that hopefully will make it play better rather than make it play worse, I think. When Payday 3 was first announced as an online only Oh game hell no. The new pistol shoots like that. Oh god. Said, Till now, I've always got on my Like I just want to point something out real quick. The already revolver in the game one shot kills and it shoots faster. So why would we want this one if it shoots way slower but still one shot kills? My own. Why can't I keep playing solo in Payday 3? Well, now you can. It's not our full vision for this feature. For now, we're setting it as a beta to test how it runs. Uh. We expect the performance to be affected since the parts normally front-loaded by our servers will now have to be run on your own hardware. It will work though, and you can get progression that will update you once you return online. You will still be required to start the game while online in solo mode, which yep. will be improved once we improve this feature. So the whole purpose of solo mode still isn't the way it's meant to be played. You still have to be online to play solo mode. So in an in an event like your your internet goes out or you you know, you mean like it gets disconnected or something, you still gotta be connected to online to play solo mode apparently, which is an interesting thing nonetheless. For now though. But I will say good job on actually bringing it to the game, obviously. It's you know, could have been there since day one, but hasn't been. But at least now that it's not on their servers, it's gonna run off your own hardware. Perfectly fine for people, I'm sure. We want to test that the features that went into this work work properly. Right. Since it's a new feature, make sure to let us know if you have any issues so we can fix everything. Right. Before the next iteration of the feature, we hope we will have hosted co-op and all that cool stuff. Okay. This won't affect you if you don't want to be all by yourself. 
Keep in mind that this is not an offline mode. It's a solo mode where the portions of the game previously hosted on our servers are now hosted on your device. This is where he elaborates with it. Stepping stone for a feature to come, not something we're releasing and calling done. Oh, there's an LMG. Nice, interesting. But they haven't mentioned anything about the LMG. And it goes. Ra -ta 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 -ta. Okay, maybe now they're in mentioning uh, it. The first LMG has finally graced Payday 3 with it. But it's more than likely an overkill weapon. Its presence. It's the first of its kind, and it's a beaut. This belted monster will cut down so many cops. Gotta get sniped. Interesting. Players have been asking for the ability to rename their loadouts, so you can keep track of which one was built for what purpose. Yeah, why was that not in the game? Now, there'll be no strings to bind your hands. Rename to your heart's content with the additional support of special characters. Okay. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Clever. It's a Damn. Clip. She's back again. The lucky lady hasn't slowed down in the slightest during her- Well, I'm glad to see Clover's back, another female character. ...retirement and was more than ready to rejoin the crew. Interesting. Clover was originally introduced to the series 10 years ago as the first female playable character for Payday 3. Okay. In the years following her joining the gang, she became a fan favorite for many. Her Irish- I love how they're using just like... ...random Payday 2 videos. ...setting her voice- ...that are like heavily modded like crazy. ...part for the rest and her rough attitude oddly comforting. Clover is back and ready to bring her particular brand of justice. Like they couldn't, like, hold on, I, I hate to, to be focused on that, but like they couldn't have like at least did their own footage. <laughs> Instead of taking like random footage that has like mods in it and shit. But that's all right, it's, it is what it is. But this gun looks new, I don't know what that one is. That must be the new now that 308 we're or whatever. Now of things with new content, we figure it's a good time to add Steam items. Okay. We added trading cards, backgrounds, emotes, and everything else you'd expect. Hey, emotes, I like that. I like the emotes. I'm going to be getting those. That includes filling the point shop to the brim with a ton of cool stuff. So make sure you check it out. Okay. Also, That's pretty cool. They had clover and some uh, stickers and stuff. And blue, we're getting our first Twitch drop. Just make sure you take care of the account connecting thing, watch a payday stream, and it won't be long till happiness steps up and greet you. We put together a mask, mask patterns, a charm, as well as stickers. All so that's what the payday drops are? Like, you know for no reason, like, 10,000 people are going to be, like, watching streams for this, these items for some reason. But, like, to me, these are, like, really not, like, items I want. But obviously, like, other people may want stuff like this. Like, I'd like to see something better. Like, you know, uh, not not a pig mask. Like, come on. All themed around the voice and blue it's cool, though. I, once again, it's cool that they're adding that stuff to Payday 3 now. Like, the, uh, the, the stream drops or whatever they call them. I can't remember. But, like, the biggest issue with that usually is that the partners are the only ones that get views. And then everyone else just kind of, like, is, is streaming. You know, that's part, part of the issue there, but it should be, you know, fine seeing, you know, there's new content that brings, you know, new people to the streaming uh, platform as well. The three items will all be released with voice in blue and will be available through Twitch drops alongside the stream. Oh, so those three items are in the DLC plus it's part of Twitch drops. Interesting. So there's two ways of accessing those items. We have an intense summer ahead of us, heisters. Two more DLCs are coming out before September. Add yep. to that free content, new features, fixes, and changes. There's a lot. So everything he just named off is, you know, basically, you know, what everyone's expecting. New DLCs, new free content, etc. We can build this game together, heisters. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Yeah! All right, heisters. That's it for this dev update. It's been fun. Thank you. This video in particular has had a lot of the, uh, like, goofy edits, which maybe they have, like, a new editor or something, I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest fan of that stuff. Like, I've expressed, you know, many times in my stream, I'm not, like, a... Like, if I'm watching videos, or if I'm, like, editing videos, like, I don't like there to be a thousand edits like that, where, like, within every five minutes, or not even five minutes, within every, like, five seconds, you've got, like, something else that pops up on screen and plays a silly noise, like... To me, that's not like the the preferred, you know, video to watch. But I mean, it's nice to see that these guys are trying something new. You know, the payday star breeze. You know, I mean, it's it's nice to see that they're trying something new here. This may 
gained the attraction of like the the TikTok brain, you know, whatever you guys want to call it. But I, I do understand what where their logic comes from here. Thank you so much for supporting us all this time, and uh, what's coming up next? Nice. We'll see you in Brooklyn. Payday, motherfuckers. Payday, motherfuckers. That's all I heard. Okay. I'd, I'd give this a thumbs up, honestly. I don't. What's the comment saying on this video? Um. They're mostly just focusing on just like random stuff. Starbreeze is self aware. I don't know if that's what you'd call it. Finally, boys in blue. Boys in blue, go get it. Um, is it out actually? There's Mortifier. You did an awesome job so far. It looks like it's going in the right direction. Hopefully, you can recover. I miss Houston in my Death Wish, ma Death Wish mask, my Judge, and the Crouch Jump. Also, please add Shatter Raid someday. Clearly, they're going to add Shadow Raid into the game. Houston, I can't remember what his, his deal was at the end of Payday 2, but I'm sure he'll come back. The Judge, you could probably see that come as a secondary weapon, but the biggest issue currently is that, uh, is that, uh, what you call it, is that there's only pistol secondaries in the game, so it's kind of a big issue there. Other than that, I don't really see too many people complaining about anything. But yeah, pretty much solid work, as, as most people are saying here. I, I'd give this a big thumbs up if any of you guys are, uh, you know, on YouTube and, and have an account that's active. Maybe give them a thumbs up. That's pretty decent content right there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, and, you know, it's it's my opinions. It's not... uh. This is how it is, essentially, but that's just my opinions. If you guys, you know, have other opinions, leave them in the comment section. I do really appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully you guys will uh, catch one of the streams, Twitch or YouTube, either one. I do appreciate it. Thank you.